Hey, what is up everybody? I'm Star Lord, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can get your hands on an awesome Pokemon. It's actually a legendary or mythical, I can't remember which one it is, but it's called Shaman. It's a little cute Pokemon, and I'm pretty sure you guys who are new to the game would really appreciate getting this Pokemon in your Pokedex. And also, the sky form of it is amazing in PvP. So let's get in straight to the guide. So here we are on my Pokemon, and I'm going to show you where you need to go to on the map. We need to go to Rose Cove City. Uh, so just travel over there, fly over there, travel on foot, whatever you want to do, just make sure you get to there. Now once outside the Pokemon Center, just kind of follow me to exactly where I go. And uh, we're going to take a left here and go to a new route. And uh, we're pretty much there already, if I'm honest. It's a very quick and easy guide, guys. Uh, so once you're through here, just keep on going. And follow exactly where I go. And also, guys, I would like to say, if you are new to the channel, please make sure to click the subscribe button, click on notifications, and make sure to go and check out my other Roblox videos. They're pretty awesome. And don't forget to leave a like if this helps you out. Uh, so now that we're here, guys, we will see, like, a little greenhouse kind of thing. We're going to go out inside it. And uh, there will be a lady right here on the left. She'll say, I love flowers. They give us such a sweet scent. And I want to see a Pokemon called Flillaby. And I really want to see every color that it has. Uh, so basically, just kind of skip through the uh, context of the actual talk. It's all right. Um, and basically, she will want you to catch five Pokemon. But they're different colors. Uh, so let's come outside of here now. And we're going to turn to our right, or I, or I guess our left, and go through this root extender. And uh, we will actually come out onto the next route where you can find these five Pokemon. And they're kind of just the same Pokemon, just different colors. Uh, blue being the very rarest one that you can find here. It's actually got a 1% spawn rate in this little patch of flowers. Uh, so as you can see, I have found the green Floette. And uh, what we want to do is catch those. We just want to catch uh, the different color Floettes as quick as we can. Um, now once we have... We're going to have to take all five of those to the lady. Uh, so here I'm showing you guys what colors there are. So there's an orange, a blue, a yellow, a white, and also a red. And uh, you cannot breed any of these. And like I said, the blue one is definitely the hardest to find. A 1% spawn rate, which is insane. But if you have anybody who has a blue floet, just trade with them. And then give them it back after you're done with them. Uh, so now we're going back to that lady as I do have all five of those uh, Pokemon. And uh, right through here, just a little greenhouse again. And we're going to have another little talk to her. She'll kind of say the same thing over again. Uh, but then somehow she will notice you have those Pokemon in your Pokeballs in your bag. I don't know how she knows that. Maybe she's secretly Alakazam. I don't know. Um, but she'll say like, yeah, I'm going to reward you. And she'll actually give you a pretty awesome little item uh, that you can give to Shaman once you catch it. Uh, so there you go, I want you to have it, and it's the Grisadia, I believe is the way you say it, I'm not too sure about that, uh, but now you've got that, and now we can actually find Shaman on the map, so that's pretty cool too, uh, so just go out of here, and uh, now we're going to want to travel to somewhere else on the map, so that's what I'm going to do right now, so uh, we're going to open up the menu, we're going to go to our Pokemon, we're also going to click fly, and once there, we want to go to Gragnos Cliffs. Uh, this is pretty much like one of the last places you go uh, in the game, to be honest, since it hasn't been updated yet. Uh, so it's pretty close to the end. And uh, once we're at the Pokemon Center, what we're going to do is uh, we need to go and turn around and uh, head down this route right here. There is kind of a lot of encounters, so if you haven't battled them yet, you will have to do that. But I see that if you just fall off the side of the cliff here, it's kind of easy to uh, get away from all those battles. And as you can see, just across this little drawbridge right here, uh, there's Shaman. That's what Shaman looks like. It's a little cutie with a little flower in its hair, and uh, probably one of my favorite uh, mythical legendary Pokemon uh, of all time, actually. One of them. One of them. Mew being my first, uh, but definitely Sky Shaman is, a, is an awesome Pokemon. And also, I have to say, it's a very OP Pokemon 
when you use it in PvP. I'm telling you guys, it's insane. Uh, so what I'm doing here is just saving my game so that I can keep on reloading to get a shiny one. And hopefully you will see a video of that soon on my channel, guys, uh, when I do get the shiny shaman. So make sure that you keep an eye out on that. And uh, yeah, all you guys want to do now is uh, just capture it. And then once you do, it'll say that shiny or normal shaman can be found pretty much anywhere around the map. Uh, so you can catch it all the time. Uh, anyway, guys, I do hope that this quick tutorial helped you out. If it did, please remember to leave a like. And until next time, I've been Star Lord. Oh, see ya.